Hi guys, today we're working on 2011 Dodge Dakota. It's a 4.7 Dakota four wheel drive and a leaf spring broke here. Um, I'm gonna show you in a second. This is the old leaf spring and this is the mount for it, the front mount. Also the shackle broke, but that's not a big deal. I got already half of it out. So I just need to get that bolt out of the, the bracket. And uh, I'm gonna try something new. So here's the thing, to replace the front uh, bolt or remove the uh, uh, remove the uh, spring leaf you need to lower the tank because the bolt is actually on the inside it goes through the frame all the way out and you're gonna need to drop the, f the tank to get to it so I'm gonna try to release this nut move the bolt a little bit towards this way and try to cut the head of the bolt from the other from this um, hole with the sozal yeah you guessed it i got my trusty porter cable tiger sozal this thing is powerful as hell i'm gonna go try to go through that hole cut the head of the bolt and then i'm gonna put the nut from the inside i can get from the top between the frame and the bracket and i can weld the uh piece of wire to the nut like a flag and uh, try to sneak that nut and put the bolt through here and go inside and uh, put the nut from the uh, between the gap on uh, on the from the top and try to tighten it like that so uh, I'm gonna try uh, this new new trick I'll take the video later because I cannot work and uh, take the video at the same time okay thank you very much Okay, we got back. Here is a short demonstration how uh, to lose that uh, 21 millimeter nut with this uh, gear wrench. And I'm holding the actual bolt, I'm holding with the 10 millimeter socket that goes here, right there. And I'm trying to remove the nut and move the bolt a little bit inwards so I can reach. I can reach the uh, the bolt from. Actually, I can uh, I can cut that the head of the bolt by moving it a little bit. So uh, take another video later. And there you go. I'm gonna try to I move that bolt inwards a little bit, and I'm holding it with the vice grip, so it will uh, stay in that position the whole time while I'm cutting it. And it's, not, it's not gonna spin. So there you go. Just hard to do it with one hand. Probably gonna pause it and continue later. Okay, looks like it's a success. I got uh, there is a head of the bolt. It's probably gonna come out. Uh, maybe not. I can get it with the magnet later. And uh, that's how it comes out. There you go. Magic. Okay, and uh, the uh, installation procedure is straightforward. You probably can guess it. I'm just gonna weld the piece of wire to the nut and uh, sneak it in and uh, on the back of this this bracket. And thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Hopefully, it's gonna help everybody who's working on this truck. I don't know why Chrysler decided to do it this way. And not the opposite way but uh, that's not up to me okay have a great day take care bye